Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my basement late, late on this evening where I'm trying to catch up on the shows, including Lucifer season two, episode 10. Mom was gonna blow up Chloe. That's it. That's all we need to know about what happened last episode. Yeah, no, there was more stuff. There was more stuff. Okay, so, right, okay. Lucifer was going to lose his home in a shady property deal. We're not gonna go there. However, Chloe helped him save it. Why would she do that? Because she cares about you. You've seen her care about other people. You've seen her care about her daughter. You've seen her care about the, the victims of the murders that you have been solving. When she cares about people, she'll put in the effort for you. So Dr. Linda walking through Lucifer that yes, home is more than a place. Home is people. You found your home and people that you in turn care about. Yes, it rattled him. But I think he's cared for other people besides Chloe. I think he's cared for Maze this whole time. That's why he's so despondent when Maze isn't around or, you know, he doesn't, he's not despondent, despondent, but he's upset when Maze isn't with him. That's his friend, that's his buddy. So yes, he's cared for other people. So Chloe, how he cares for Chloe. God, that's a tongue twister. Going forward, hmm. Cause we know he's not gonna stay away from her forever. We've got, what, three and a half more seasons to go. But then mom's trying to blow up Chloe cause that's not gonna get Lucifer on your side, pumpkin. No. Not at all, in any capacity. So how does Chloe survive? Survive? We need to figure that out. Yes, I'm doing good. I can put words together today, but we're gonna get under the big cozy blanket. And I have with me, I made for earlier because I was watching the end of the mid-season Bridgerton episode and they always have lemonade. So I made a little strawberry lemonade punch of my own. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep drinking this because it's delightful. And does it have vodka in it? Yes, it does and it's refreshing and delightful. So I hope your favorite beverage is on hand as well. You're gonna remember full episode watch long is available on Patreon and we're just gonna get to it. Jeez, I was pretty surprised when you called me. Oh yeah, that's right. Dan's love with mom. Dan's love with mom. <laughs> that's right. I swear Dan should have known she was married. At the least, should have known she was married. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> <Thank you. gasps> oh no! Can't Not the. Her, oh. 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 Wait. Ah. Ooh, how did you know? Please, give me the dead. As in, how did how did he know she was there? I can't let you kill Chloe, Mom. <gasps> Apparently, poultry human flesh can't contain my divinity. Oh, here we go. Bonson Carr. So but it's not Chloe. I know Lucifer better than he knows himself. And if you kill Chloe, he won't rest until he finds out who did it. And when he does, Mom, he will hate you forever. One little human can't mean more to him than his family. He killed Uriel to protect her. Mm hmm. If we want Lucy to go home with us, then we need to make sure that it's his decision to leave Chloe behind. She still got a bomb in her car. But there's nothing to say, really. You had a date with Chloe. Mm, that he didn't go to. Well, for one, I wouldn't say it was a big deal. And it wasn't a date, just dinner. I More like a go. snack, actually, between friends. You chickened out, didn't you? <laughs> you know, I get it. Our last breakthrough spooked you. And now you're running scared. But you're avoiding the truth, also known as lying. That I know I don't do. You are lying, Lucifer. <laughs> to yourself. You count too, pumpkin. I owe you an explanation. Really? <laughs> I know what your explanation is, and I don't want to know her name, especially not today. Oh, that's where she went. Ooh. Besides, this is my fault. I should have known how selfish and thoughtless you can be. Lucifer! <gasps> Mom's home! Sweetest. To come support us on such a difficult day. Is this the, is this, this the divorce day? Um, he has no idea what today is. Me, as I'm perfectly aware of what today is actually, because today today is the first the day first day of, of the, the trial, trial of, of my dad's killer. My dad's killer. 
Oh. No, wait, your dad's killer. Yes, no, I knew that. Oh. Hey. Hmm, someone's chirpy for a Monday morning. <laughs> yes, I am. What's going on? Don't want to know. You don't want to know. Did you get laid? <laughs> I'm still in shock. I know it. She's gorgeous. Yeah. She is way out of my league. I mean, she is goddess like. And maybe she's the one who sent you the mystery package. Is it a bomb? What's in the what's in the box, Dan? Whose head's in the box? Oh, jeez. Oh, it's a head. That's Boris. Oh. Chloe's gonna lose it. Why, who would put Boris's head in the box? Was he the I star witness? I played this role before, 16 years ago. Maybe it's like that stuff. Easier the second time around. The severed head of Boris Sokolov just arrived at the precinct. I mean, without him, the entire case could fall apart. This is the worst thing that could be happening right now. Please tell me she's not on this case. How did she get on this case? <gasps> no. To now, mother. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I had no idea Charlotte Richards was defending Perry. I didn't know Charlotte Richards was a defense attorney. Maybe she's not the shark she once was. Okay, guess so maybe she was because the whole drug deal, whatnot. That's right, that's right. My apologies, I'm a little out of practice. Um, oh, I see. You're saying that with Boris dead, the state doesn't have enough evidence to proceed. So if I don't move for dismissal, then he'll probably make a complete fool out of himself. Your Honor, our case was and still is unshakable. Boris Sokolov's death changes nothing. Trial will proceed immediately. Actually, Your Honor, the state would like to uh, request a continuance. But I'm confused, Your Honor. Didn't we just hear the prosecution say their case was unshakable? We did. Request denied. Session will resume after lunch. After lunch, okay. I had to find a way to open your eyes. You need to see that this Chloe you so adore isn't worthy of you. Have you forgotten you killed your brother? My son to protect her. Do you think there's anything even remotely similar that she would do for you? Yeah. Oh, she kind of possibly did. Know that she doesn't deserve you. You need to see that you're not meant to be together. Wow, she jumped to presumptions really quickly. What sort of evil plan are you concocting? I was going to blow Chloe up, but Amenadiel talked me out of it. You what? I swear, if you hurt her, I will rip. Well, looks like your brother was right. Promise me that you won't touch her. But there's other people she could touch. I'm not going to hurt anyone. Mm hmm Physically. She meant to add physically. She's going to hurt people. Rest assured, everything will be okay. I got this. Oh, oh, oh. Mr. Morningstar, what are you up to? Freaking out, Dan. I can't let Perry get away with everything. You won't. You didn't see Charlotte Richards in court today. Sure. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah really she's that good mm -hmm. yes I, she's the best which is why it would be helpful if we could not sleep with her dan there was also non-human dna on boris swine to be exact a unique crossbred for its delicious meat and there's only one place that sells it convenient <laughs> I'm trying to roll. I'm going to try to roll, but I promise nothing. Mr. Morningstar, we're ready for you. Wonderful. Off I go to shield you from that quid pro ho, detective. How? I swear to tell the truth. Why is... So help me, Dad. How are you the... A, a, a key witness, sir? You were there when Boris was arrested. Right, working with Detective Espinosa. Oh. Actually, may, may I have the floor? By all means. This could go wrong. This could go wrong. May I borrow your scarf? Your Honor, is this necessary? Well, you want the full story, don't you? I mean, the devil's in the details. 
Is he gonna recreate the towel? The towel, the towels at the... Were asked by the LAPD to perform a sting operation. Not the singer. So we had to go undercover. That Boris's bathhouse. Guns of steel. <laughs> Gun Boris, look to me. Thank you. But it's hearsay, Bunkin. It's hearsay. You ever get the feeling like you've been used? You mean by, oh, I don't know, the woman who's defending the killer of your ex-wife's dad? Mm-hmm. How the hell did you know that? I saw long honey blonde hair on your coat the other day. I spotted a smudge of lipstick on your cuff. Burgundy shade, bold, but not too sexy. Lawyer color. Lawyer color. No, I just saw your butt pucker when Chloe mentioned her name in the lab this morning. God. Which means she was looking at his ass. Maybe she really just likes you. Yeah. 44. Hi, we'll take the headless body of a dude named Boris, please. A few days ago, this guy approached me, no questions asked, unless I wanted to end up in the sausage myself. Do you know his name? Wow. Wow. But the scar on his neck is very distinctive. Handy. Where's the body? It's almost as if Boris himself just testified. Except a more handsome version. No, stop it, Judy. Judy, Judge Judy. Right, actually, do you know, I would like to add one more thing. No! Please. Continue, Lucy. Loose lips sink ships! This whole courtroom, nay, the entire city can rest assured that someone as honest, trustworthy, and reliable as Detective Decker is out there protecting them. And she is truly good. It's Richards, your witness. I have no questions at this time. At this time? This time. Hey, that's Chloe's car. What are you looking for? Bomb. I was, um... Bomb. You. I was looking for you. Under the car. Really? Yeah, I've missed you. <laughs> it's true, I still think about you, Mace. It's like fireworks, isn't it? Mm-hmm. In your pocket. Mm-hmm. Or was it this? <gasps> ah! Why would you blow up her car? Tell your mother no one is hurting Chloe on my watch. And two, don't ever lie to me like that again. But now you got a blown up car. Chloe needs a new car now. What did Boris have to say when you interrogated him? He confessed that he routinely provided fall guys. Oh God, Dan's now on the stand. And is there anything else this is that is remarkable? Gonna go well, well, no. I have no questions for this witness. The prosecution rests, Your Honor. Already? Already. This defense would like to recall Lucifer Morningstar. Mm-hmm. We knew this was coming. Who was first on the field's crime scene? Detective Decker. Would you please read who, according to the official police report, was the first officer on the scene? Espinoza. Well, it says Detective Espinoza. Chloe Decker had motive, opportunity, and the LAPD to protect her and help her frame an innocent man for her personal vendetta. What you're implying is preposterous. The detective would never hurt anyone. It's not about your answers. It's about Charlotte's questions. She wouldn't have even asked them unless she already knew I was first on scene. Did you sleep with me to get intel on this case? Well, of course. But it's not like you didn't get anything out of it. Did you move from me or something? I didn't need to. I've learned sex was your gender into a mild coma. <laughs> Offered the perfect window to go through your phone. <gasps> Next time, you should put your phone away before we have the sex. Next time. Are you insane? Oh! You tell me. <laughs> I wish I could say that I'm surprised Maze blew up your car. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, she blew up his car. So she switched the bomb and blew up his car. Why do you think that she reacted so passionately? Because she's a complete maniac fueled by rage and violence. I love how Amanda deals now. <laughs> Quiet. Nothing at all to anger her? Well, I may have obscured the truth a bit. 
otherwise known as lying. Linda, I had no choice. You have to understand that. Mm. So important you feel justified to act any way you see fit, even if that means hurting people you care about. You did what you had to do. Oh, Linda! Smack, smack! Smack, smack, smack! That's what I did to you. Mm-hmm! <laughs> your advice is... Apologize your ass off. Or next time she might blow that up. <laughs> I don't understand. Mommy Dearest tried to kill Chloe. Yes, we're past that. Past that? If only I knew who really gave Mum that information. Oh! <gasps> right. If only. Oh. You came. Yes, he did. <laughs> Anything up lately? I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> Try to take the Russians, so it makes sense to pit them against each other. Yeah, you should definitely probe this angle. Probe it hard. So let's try to get in and out as quickly as possible, all right? Now, speaking of in and out, this case really seems to be touching you, Dad. Yeah, in a very personal way. Mm -hmm. Well, it's almost as if you want to take Charlotte Richards down yourself, like way down, and give her a hard time. Hard time. Really impressed with how much Dan wants to penetrate this thing from every position all of them you know oh yeah she must have looked at my text messages after we he was made love sure slept with my wallet <laughs> marlin you bastard oh i know what you've done <laughs> This is terrible. Da, da, don't be a Dan. Do don't be this. a Dan. <laughs> Which one of you chaps is in charge? <laughs> you speak Chinese? What? <laughs> I'm the devil. Of course I speak Chinese. I speak everything. I speak everything. <laughs> oh, hello. Madam Lee is going to give us the man who killed Boris. All we need to do is defeat Kang. And who the hell is Kang? Kang. In what? Defeat him with what? And Dan's gonna have to defeat him? And who's supposed to fight him? Oh, hell no. No, no. Much as I'd like to see Crouching Tiger hidden. Oh, it's gonna be Maze? I'd like to win this. I was pointing at Maze. Why not? Why not, she says. <laughs> but what happens if we lose? They kill us. Well, you. Because I'm immortal. Right, shall we? Mm-hmm. Choose your weapon. I choose those. <laughs> <laughs> I think this thing is funny that we don't really get very many action sequences and when we do it's always maze. <gasps> Girl. Are you serious? Well, I mean, you did get two new toys. <laughs> well, that sucked. <laughs> See? Easy peasy, Chinesey. I want him to get the justice he deserves. Justice is what we all want, dear. For your father and for my client. <gasps> You're a mother, aren't you? Mm. Yes, yes. And shame on you. Oh. Oh. We need to talk. Ooh. If we can convince him to give up Harry, won't feel so bad about having slept with Charlotte. No, 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 no more <laughs> talk of that disgusting offense. LAPD, push your hands where I can see them. Ooh. Okay. Whoa. Oh, you found Boris. Lucifer's testimony basically handed me a non guilty verdict. This trial is over. So, it's not Chloe's decision to drop it. I could use the possibility of a lethal injection to get him to plead guilty. You'd have to betray Lucifer. So. Oh. You want Perry to go to jail. Oh. Call Lucifer a liar. Oh. And she doesn't think 
This is an odd request. He's a civilian consultant. He um, understands people's desires. And in addition to that, I assume he studied law enforcement? Not that I'm aware of. Then I'm sure his previous job was more relevant to his role as a civilian consultant for the LAPD, right? His previous job. Well, if you believe his claims that he used to run hell. <coughs> Are you suggesting your partner is delusional or just lying? Neither. Lucifer Morningstar is many things, but he is not a liar. Lucifer is the best partner I have ever had. And I can only hope that he can count on me as much as I count on him. Your Honor, we request the jury be instructed to disregard Detective Decker's entire testimony. We'll take a 10 minute recess. <laughs> what is this trial about? And he let, he was let go. I believe in our legal system. And now I can finally return to my family a free man. Mm -hmm. So if you'll excuse me. Oh, they never, they have not met, have they? I was, um, I'm looking for Maze. She's not home. I used to believe everything happens for a reason. But now, I'm not so sure. Me neither. But I do know that no matter how bad things get, the true test is how we choose to respond to the pain we suffer. Maze is a lucky girl. Hope she forgives you. <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you look really familiar. Have we met? Can she forgive you? No, I don't believe we have. I missed part of the piece. Yeah, his family, his family, the arms of his family. I know you had Boris. I also know you're responsible for the murder of Joe Fields. Dan, what you doing? You clean your mess. We got nada. But you know who's okay with nada? Or shall I say nichdo? You see the Russians, they don't like it when one of their own is taken out without permission. Maybe they won't hear about it. Oh, a van conveniently pulling up. Yeah. <laughs> My pleasure, Misha. Just for that. Mmm. I didn't think you had it in you. Oh yeah, we did. If I knew this is what was happening, I knew Dan had it in him to do that. You were right. You are nothing like father. Uh. What changed your mind? <laughs> 35 years ago, father, he asked me to come down here to bless a couple who was unable to have a child. He had never asked me to do anything of the sort and he never did again. Today, I met the mother again. What? Are you on your way out? I am, yes. Oh. To see you, actually. I, I believe I owe you dinner. Go. So why is she there? Now we know. Chloe's so special, don't we? You know what this means? Not exactly. And I was a pawn. By who? Well, I hope you know it takes months to get a reservation at this place. <laughs> oh yeah, mm -hmm. fries are amazing. Oh. oh, fries. She's how you'll get your wings back. She's how we'll get it all back. <laughs> what you said today in the courtroom. That's the truth. Is he gonna do a reveal? There's a lean! We have a lean. We had a lean? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna ask. I know some of y'all are gonna try to draw a map for me, which is fine, but that might lead to spoilers. I don't know why I'm shouting. I don't know why I'm shouting. <laughs> So God knew, I'm gonna guess, Lucifer would have a moment of introspection, reflection, wanting not to be in charge of hell. So he sends Amenadil down to somehow grant this childless couple a baby. 
in hopes that someday Chloe will grow up and be put in Lucifer's path. To do what exactly? Fall in love? Gain some humanity? Be more aware and feel a part of the humanity that he is going to be asked to punish? What purpose? And we can't have, can we? A Lucifer Chloe hookup so soon in the series, unless they're gonna break up and come back together and break up and come back together, which we don't really want because that gets old after a while. And how does that get them back to heaven? But, okay, so now we know why Chloe is a little bit more special. <laughs> we do with this information that's all I got that's all I got because I'm gonna have to this is that piece of the puzzle that you flip and you go oh that's an important piece but I don't know where it fits in yet but that's important whoo I'm excited but I don't know what to do with you yet that's how I feel Ta -da! what else can I I can't think of anything else to say because I have to watch how it lands. And where's Trixie? <laughs> okay, okay. So, and we're, we got a lot way, way left to go to the sea. So there's lots more story. How does this land? Okay, here we go. Episode 10. <laughs> Thank you so much for being with me. I don't know where we're going with this. So, just in the meantime, before we see each other again, which will hopefully be soon, take care of yourselves. Get in some squats, because squats are doing me good. Eat something, those french fries, french fries sound good. And, and then come back and watch the next video in the queue. I don't know if I want them to kiss yet. I don't know if they want them to kiss yet. Mm. <laughs> so thanks again, y'all, and until next time. <laughs>